Stemphilium leaf blight attacks onions globally, from Japan and India to right here in the Holland Marsh. This disease is caused by the fungal pathogen Stemphilium vesicarium that overwinters on dead plant tissue and in the springtime releases spores into the air. At the beginning of the season, symptoms can appear as small tanned lesions or leaf tip dieback, and as the season progresses, Lesions and tip dieback can extend the length of the leaf, ultimately killing the leaf entirely. This disease is an issue as it reduces the green leaf area required to absorb sprout inhibitors. In this video, we're going to be discussing fungicides and spray timings recommended to manage Stemphilium leaf blight on onion. It's easy to spot the symptoms of Stemphilium leaf blight, but what's challenging is knowing what and when to spray. To help us decide when to spray, we use disease forecasting and spore traps. Spore traps are simple. They capture the spores of Stemphilium, which tells us when the risk of the disease is increasing. Disease forecasting takes into account both the ideal temperatures and leaf wetness periods for infection, and this tells us when disease risk is high and calculates the best day for us to spray. Disease forecasting can reduce the number of sprays that you apply in a season, which slows down the development of fungicide resistance. At the station, we currently use BSPCAS as our forecasting model, but this model was developed for Stemphilium on pear in Italy. We are working to develop a new forecasting model that is specific to Stemphilium leaf blight on onion in Ontario. This model will take into account both the favorable conditions for infection and spore counts. We send out the information on Stemphilium risk twice a week in our IPM updates. If you would like to be added to the IPM mailing list, please stop by the station or give us a call and we can add you to the list. Fungicides are used to manage Stemphilium leaf blight, but recently resistance has developed, rendering products ineffective. This has been extremely frustrating for me and my research, but even more frustrating for growers as few fungicides are registered. What we really need are new products, but for now we need to work with what we have. We recommend applying a Mangazeb product or Allegro as the first spray if you are using seed treated with penflufen. After the initial application, we recommend rotating Moravis Duo, Maravon, Circadis, Aprovia, or Allegro. To slow resistance development, we recommend avoiding applications of the same fungicides back to back and avoid spraying when conditions aren't conducive for disease development. However, these recommendations are most likely to change going forward. If you would like more information on Stemphilium leaf blight, we have linked some resources from OMAFRA below, as well as our Green Book reports, which have information on our past Stemphilium trials. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video.